What is up, you guys? And thank you for watching that collage. It was against my first three battles, of course, in the first three rounds. And yes, I had a lot of momentum in those games. And I was really fearing that later on here, we're going to get tr trouble. I'm going to get issues with poison types, of course. So I decided to um, reevaluate my slurp puff and design it with Kalingard to be able to wall out physical bulk because my previous battle was actually closer than I want to give it credit to because. I did lack the bulk and I barely made it, so a, a cutting guard call mind slurp up was definitely the best choice of decisions here because the only thing that works in the later end of the tourney is poison types, not steel. So I have no use of flamethrower really. So by choice, I decided to take away flamethrower and get cutting guard. Uh, I went to the fourth round here against Tipsy Joe, and uh, this was definitely a very, very good battle. I'm not going to take that away from it. Uh, it was probably one of the best battles I have in some time is because we play very very similar with a good bulk core and then by design actually uh, built physical sweepers to be able to handle whatever comes our way he said he got actually three potent sweepers where all myself only got i think got two and then i can wall out with other that i got three tanks so by the choice here i was definitely fearing this guy and i was gonna start with man time because i know that since I got the one stone type and ground type that people tend to think that I'm gonna start off with those pretty much. So, right, like I said, uh, I'm gonna start off with Valplum instead because I did expect the Weezing. So my Mantine set is with Substitute and I did this because I want to have a team, if I'm going against a team that's using Weezings, uh, I want to start off with Mantine, setting up a Substitute because they can't break the substitute with Sludge Bomb or Flamethrower, which is the common set. So I did expect the um, Dusk Knoll to come here, or Dusk Gloves, of course. And I was going for a Scald, you know, hoping for a burn. I I don't use Toxic Style, I have Defog, Substitute, Air Slash, and Scald, and I'm not that bulky, but the thing is, if I do get the burn, I can shut down a Pokemon completely and uh, just set up another Substitute and recover back on. Sadly, I go for two Scalds, yet no burn. So I'm forced to switch out, and I'm gonna switch out to Valplume, which got actually a pretty decent HP bulk here. So I don't fear the Nightshade too much. And I'm just gonna go for Lead Seed. I am faster, so I felt that let's do it. And this, I actually designed this by setting up an event on Ruby Sapphire in Generation 3. Uh, it was an egg move with Valplume, and I just decided a, I designed a 6 IV to that game, and then posted to Gen 4, 5, and then this game. So. It was kind of a big trip for just one move, but it's really, really good and very, very potent. So with Lead Seed and Bound, I know that my Booker can come in and, uh, you know, pretty much just chill, basically. And I, I want to go for Toxic, but I also knew that he's probably going to switch back out to his Weezing, which walled this Booker completely. So uh, with that in mind, I decided to pull a double switch back into Solgo and uh, basically just... Uh, go nuts and <laughs> that's what definitely what I did here and went for yet again another substitute because then I knew at least I can go for two more skulls on the dust clubs and hopefully getting a burn which is extremely important that I pull off so it's coming back on here and um, yeah like I said very safe for me going for a substitute and uh, he decides to switch out right away and it, that's a very good choice I'm we're probably gonna fall for that only one once right so Definitely the right call here, and I go for a scold. Eh, still no burn, and that is extremely frustrated. Uh, so I know he's gonna go for another nightshade here, and I felt like, right, Stoutland, you're in. I need you to dent this guy. And 50% range felt like, yeah, I have a 94% of um, killing it. Uh, I have life for this time instead of. Uh, instead of choice band and uh, even though I have 94% of killing this thing it do live it do live and he goes for a pain split and uh, yeah that was probably the first real big issue I had this game that I knew I had odds with me and I couldn't break through and just wow really just wow so my stoutland is actually whittled down and I really felt that you know without them um, <laughs> choice man would have might have been a better choice here and uh, here's where the second little issue happens I go for a toxic and miss and yeah I mean it's an issue yeah but then again damn it what the hell that's probably that's you have to deal with that so 
I was still in the running here. I still felt that, you know, we were pretty much evened up. I mean, I got three no skull burns, so that's pretty unfortunate. And uh, he got the self rocks up, and that's also unfortunate. So this goes down to his Weezing, and um, he knows he can't do anything here. And I actually did expect that he's probably gonna switch back onto Weezing for the obvious reasons of uh, me probably going for Nerdquake at best. So, yeah, Dust Club is back on here, and uh, I do decide to go right away for Skull and not setting up any substitute or anything like that. And look at this! Look at that! Finally! Burn! Would be a much more helpful previously, considering the crunch and stuff like that, with Stoutland that I would whittle down much easier here, and uh, because of the low range and I can't really kill it, I am forced to uh, attack this thing, and uh, I am very, very confident that... Um, I need to stay in here, I can't risk him going for pain splits and stuff like that. And I was a little little unfortunate that um, the burn killed him here because I did want to go for... <laughs> I actually wanted to go for a... Um, what was it called? Um, I wanted to go for a defog before it going down. So my defog is dead, so that's unfortunate. So I go into my Vulcan here, and this is uh, another Vulcan. I, I, like I said previously, that I lacked the defenses, so I went with the max defense Gigalith this time and um, gave him a choice man, basically. And uh, it still, you know, it takes a lot of damage from from that Pokemon, it really does. So I know I can switch into Swallow one more time, really. So I decided to go for Rock Blast, you know, trying to whittle it down, and it doesn't do enough. And I know a Will-O-Wisp is here, or is common, but at the same time, what the hell, let's go for Rock Blast. I really just wanted to uh, break through, and um, yeah, it didn't pay off the way I wanted it to, and um, I decided to actually just switch out. Uh, after faults here is definitely that I should have stayed in, tried to go for another one, but I went for Bugra here, trying to build up his defenses, and you know, th thinking about it, it's probably not the best play. I mean, I wanted to try to whittle it down, but it didn't really pay it off. So, probably a very, very fast split decision here, and like I said there, because of the hacks and bomb previously, I was definitely stressed out and felt that I didn't do enough damage to dent him, and uh, pretty much I just want the turns to be going and, you know, whittle down this Weezing, which is top threat, honestly, it really is. So, Slush Bomb, of course, will take me out here, and like I said, I should definitely stay there and go for another Rock Blast, because I would definitely have survived another Sludge Bomb, and I was definitely on a death bed from the start off there. And well, so I decided I had to go back into my Stoutland, and um, I'll just go for that return, really. And this is where I feel that I probably should definitely have gone for a Choice Band instead of a Life Orb. Because now that the Dust Club is gone, yes, I do... Can, I can go freely for the return, yes. But the thing is that I don't do enough damage as long as the Torkoal is around, and had I had Choice Band, I would be in a range of 50%. Which means I will easily have... Um, the momentum of actually go for a 2 hit KO, and uh, of course it would pull off a John there in worst case scenario on my fault instead. But yeah, I was definitely feeling that um, my decision before this game might not have been the best ones, and um, I was definitely struggling here to try to get momentum. And but as as I said before here, that I have Cotton Guard um, Slurp up, so I know I have not too much to worry about. I just need to uh, set up my Cotton Guard, so I did just want to bring in this Swallow yet again, because Swallow is definitely, you know, it is suffering, it really is, and uh, I decided to sack off Solgo, because I did want a good safe switching for Bugra, really, because I know a Brave Bird can't take this guy out, and same goes for U-Turn, so I'm just gonna stay in going for the slack off, really, and U-Turn, eh, 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 no, it's not too impressive, definitely not too impressive. So the Weezing is here, and, um, yeah, I felt that this this is probably the best moment for me to um, pretty much sack off my fourth and after that um, actually bring in my slurp up because the, the range of the Weezing is now so low that I know it can't really recover and uh, if it decides to go for a pain split I will we'll at least set up two Calm Minds and uh, two Calm Minds is well enough to deal with this guy and um, take it out with a Psychic. So he obviously did not expect that, and I'm going go for Call Mine, like I said here, and uh, he will go directly for um, the Sludge Bomb, which actually do some fair damage here. I did not expect to do 50% here, so by that 
I was actually forced to attack him <laughs> directly here. Because I couldn't risk that momentum. And uh, like I said there, um, he probably didn't expect that I would be willing Psychic. But Psychic is the superior choice because of the threats in NU. And uh, yeah, it really paid off here. And I knew that I'm now faster than anything on his team. And he's going for a Sork, so I'm just... Alright, Cutting Guard. Uh, if I do pull off 6 Cutting or 2 Cutting Guards, there is nothing on his team that can kill me. Because uh, he only got Physical Sweepers left and Torkoal. And Torkoal can go for John, and I actually would have expected that for a next switch in. And um, yeah, that's the thing though. He got a crit here. And the thing is that he would not even do half the damage I had left if uh, it wasn't a crit. And that is so extremely frustrating because I went for a situation where I knew I was gonna win for a situation where I'm now... I've, I've lost. I mean, I can stall him, sure, but I, I have definitely lost here. And uh, yeah, I was really salty about this and still am kind of because I felt that um, the game might have done that decision for me instead of... Uh, we actually paying each other off here and trying to dent each other. And look at that, I did hit the Toxic this time. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, as it start off here, it's... Um, like I said, if he'd gone for a John at um, the next switch in, I guess... Um, what I'm trying to get at is that if he'd gone for a John would have had a Slurp Puff, I would just go for two Calm Minds. And consider the defenses I were in and that I'd kill the Sork with the Draining Kiss, my range of HP would have been around the 100 area. And um, if he had a Slurpuff set that is with a Belly Drum, he would have done roughly 30, 30 to um, what was it? 33 to 54 in damage. So I know I would probably wake up eventually and go for Draining Cage and actually recover more. And his Torkoal would be forced to switch him back again, and then I would go just for a Psychic. So yeah, I decide to at the end here of this battle to actually just <laughs> accept my defeat. Really, I went for Roar instead of Slack Off because. I know that I probably can go to 1-0, but I'm, he's still gonna go for knock and take away my Diva Light eventually. So yeah, that's the end of my Lithio region and you turn adventure. And uh, yeah, like I said there, a little salty there because this guy went to the finals and I've yet to see how he does against uh, one of my friends, Mr. Murkrow, who was actually battled later on that day. But I felt, like I said, that the game did the decision for me to whether or not who was gonna win and like I said I had a game plan from that moment on that he couldn't stop and I think knowing that I had to win and a crit broke through really it frustrates me because it's it's not the way you wanna lose you wanna lose because the player had a better game plan and destroy you by that and uh, I really felt that we were such an even match that hacks couldn't really be in part of it because the hacks will definitely make the winner for us and not ourselves so, but still though, like I said, Joe was a very, very good battler and was very, well, was definitely a worthy opponent for me and um, actually was an honor battling him. And in other situations where I just upload battles, this would be probably like the sherry on top of having a battle like this, where it comes down to, um, to the very last turns really. But in a turn situation, uh, yeah, it, it's not nice. It's not nice to experience losses like this because I knew this team was designed to... Um, to actually break any team really and um, I really felt that I'm probably not gonna get too much better than this and uh, this was the first time in a long time that really I played for winning I, I really I wanted to win I wasn't trying something weird and you know having fun this was actually you know this was my decision of playing the best I could and going out on a crit like that when you fully set up to break through anything it it tears, it tears down your heart, it really does, because, like I said, it feels it feels really dishonest to lose like that. Um, but then again, I guess chances are it's important for the game, it really is. And I did some weird decisions with my team before going into this battle. Had Fall, for example, my Stoutland been choice banded, it might actually have pulled much more weight than did this game. It basically just become a dead weight because of uh, the life orb damage and the paint split back on there with the dust gloves and not getting a burn. Yeah, it was a lot of weird stuff that didn't go my way this battle, and I guess it just wasn't meant to be this time. Uh, so anyway guys, and to the Lithia region and your tourney, thank you everybody for being, being part of this. And I hope to be able to pull off uh, next tourney too, and uh, hopefully I win this time, yeah? Right. <laughs> no, but really, it was very very fun, and I had a lot of fun, I met a, very, a lot of good people. 
uh, and I'm looking forward to the next tourney. So uh, with that guys, you know, thank you for watching as always. Remember, the sky is the limit. And have a good day and take care, alright? Mm, bye!